This is 2017 fall semester ME 110 pencil sharpener case study. Team members Andrew Macias, Chuck Kim Wong, Joaquin Oliver, Jing Hao Chui. Part 1 is the cover of the pencil sharpener. There is no significant marks left on the inside or the outside of the part, which means no parting lines, no injection molding marks left from the injection pins. Um, these are the evidence to prove this part is made by using injection molding and there is no reason for manufacturer company to spend extra money to remove all the marks caused by injection molding inside and outside of the part. At part 1 will be inside the box there is an excess line left which can be caused by removing flash marks. This is the evidence to prove that this part is made by using compression molding. Part 2 is made by using injection molding. We can tell from the injection molding parts which are located at the red circles on part 2 will be at the yellow circle. That's the injection gate. Uh, these two evidence can prove that this part is made by using injection molding. Part 3, which is part of the outer cover, should be made by compression molding. The reason is that the U-shape of the part is suitable for such molding method. And there is also some imperfections that might be caused by cutting the flash away. Furthermore, since there isn't any mark that indicates the part is made by injection molding, which is another common molding method, it would be safe to guess that it is made by compression molding. Part 4 which are metal rods that used to hold the gears should be made by extrusion. The reason is because extrusion is the best way to manufacture simple cylindrical rods. Part 5 holds the pencil while being rotated by the motor to sharpen the pencil with the blade. Injection molding is clearly used due to the parting line on the object. This line signifies where two molds meet. Part 6 is a base cover for the batteries. Evidence of injection molding can be found by looking at the ejector pin witness mark. Part 7 contains the batteries, holds the rotation of part 5, and is the base of the sharpener. Injection molding is used to create this part. In view A, you can see a faint mark left by the removal of the screw. More evidence of injection molding can be seen in view B and C. In view B, six ejector pin witness marks can be seen. In view C, the location of the vent is faintly noticeable. The gears were made by the injection molding process. This is indicated by the ejector pin marks as seen on view A of the gears. The other piece of evidence is the gate cutoff marks as seen on view B. Part 2 is an example of an important geometric tolerance. As seen in the picture, this part contains many pinholes in various planes, and if tolerance improperly, it will not be able to assemble. When applying tolerances on this part, it would be important to avoid tolerance buildup. This is a perfect example of where the surface profile tool would be used. This would ensure that all other parts can be attached to assemble the sharpener.